Hi there, it's Simon Hurley and um, I'm here at Creativation introducing my new product line called Simon Hurley Create with Ranger and I'm super excited to share with you um, some of my new products and a project to create with it. So this is using one of my layering stencils to create lots of different examples. So let me introduce to you my floral builder stencil or floral, uh, yeah, builder. This one's super awesome. So it's got three different flowers in here. Each flower is a row on it, and you've got different layering pieces. So I wanted to create this in a stencil form. It doesn't look like much in the package here. But I wanted to create it in a stencil so that you have the option to go in and create lots of different colors. So you can see that shading in there. You've got really awesome effects. So these are the three different types of florals you can create with this. It really creates an awesome effect on your cards, and you're able to create lots of different examples with it, with different leaves and create lots of different backgrounds. I didn't want to limit it to a stamp because then you have lots of options with this stencil. So I'm going to use the Make Art Station. This is new by Wendy Vecchi too. It's got four different magnets on it. It's that nice magnetic surface. I love to use it with this stencil because it really holds things down nicely and keeps everything from moving around. So let me start off with this flower here. I'm going to magnet everything down. It'll hold down the cardstock, it'll hold down the stencil, and keep everything really nicely in place. So let's go in here. I'm going to start off with clear skies. This is a nice light blue color. I'm just going to go in here and I like to start from the center with my blending tool and then I'll kind of blend out to the edges. This is because then you can add some shading in the center there. So I like to add that shading rather than doing it with a stamp because then you get that really nice dimension and it almost looks like a realistic floral which is super cool. Now I'm going to go in with also some triple berry. This is a really nice purple color. I love the names to these. We had so much fun naming them. And then I'm going to use my detail ink blending tool and I'm going to go in here and just kind of touch the edges with that. That's another, the really cool part about having the stencil is you can keep going back in with different colors. And if you don't love what you created, keep adding layers to it because it really makes the floral come to life when you add different colors and layers to it. So let me pull that layer off there. Wow. Easy as that. And I love these magnets because then you're not messing with the tape and ripping your cardstock halfway through your project and then you have to throw it away. So then all you have to do is move it over, put it right over top here. You just want to cover the inked area that you just did, and then it'll work really nicely. And I'm going to go in. So it acts, acts like a mask. Yeah, it acts almost like a mask, and then it covers that area and lets you do some more stenciling in there. So I'm going to blend that in. And I'll go in here with that purple color too. So I'm able to really easily touch the edges of that and really add some nice purple color around in there. So once that's finished, you get that really cool floral. And then we're gonna add a center to that floral as well. I'm gonna go in here. Then I'm gonna go in with Bee Sting. This is a really nice red color. Um, let's go in here. And I'm going in with a little mini ink blending tool. So this is super nice because you can add that color right into those little grooves. It pushes the color into the stencil and it really helps to get all that detail in there. So once I'm done with that, I'll lift off that stencil and look how cool that floral is. But we're not done there. There's a couple more steps to this, but once you get the hang of it, you can really create lots of different flowers easily. That background over there that I did with all those watercolor flowers um, took me maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, so it's really quite easy. And that one was watercolor, which I'll show you in just a second here. So let me grab this big leaf here. I love this one with this flower. So I'm going to lift up that magnet there I'll magnet it down. And the nice part about these is they don't pinch your fingers either. They got nice foam surfaces on the bottom too. I'm going with Overzealous, which is just a really bright green color. And I'm just going to blend that onto there. You get that really awesome shaded edge as well. And if you want to go in with some darker colors, you can. Um, I'm going to add one more leaf in there. Let's see. You want to flip your stencil too, you can also add more color in like that, but you want to make sure the other side is clean if you do that. So let me go in here. Let's go in with this leaf right there. And I'm just going to go in there and add a little bit of more ink down there. So there you have that really cool floral that you can create. And then let me show you how to kind of get a more messy look with this too. So again, you can create those three different flowers, but I'm going to show you kind of how to watercolor on there. So this is also my new stark white cardstock. This is a really great 110 pound heavyweight cardstock. It comes in eight and a half by 11, but that allows you to cut it down whatever size you want, which is really important to me. So for this, all I'm doing is I just hold down the stencil there, grab a water brush, 
I'm going to put this ink down onto my craft sheet here. And all I need to do is go into here with a little bit of water. Let me get that started. And then I'm going to just put that right into the surface there. And it's able to leak underneath, which you really want. You kind of want that messy look as you're watercoloring because then it makes it look you hand painted these florals. And I could not be bothered to hand paint these. So it's really awesome to have this cool stencil to kind of help you with that. So once we've got that, I'm gonna go in here and heat set this. The key is to heat set it because then you can go in with more and more layers to keep really building up that color. Then I'll go in. I'm gonna go in with a rag here. Where did I put that? I'm gonna wipe off that stencil, make sure it's nice and dry. And I'm gonna go in here to the second layer. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit so you got different petals in between there. I'm going with triple berry. These are my new inks too. They're a water reactive dye based ink and they're really great for stamping, blending, but what makes them um, really different is that one, they, water, they react with water really nicely, so they give you all those really cool techniques, but they're also able to stamp down on the cardstock really nice too and give a super solid impression, which was super important to me when I wanted these because I wanted it to be a go-to all around ink for your craft room. Beautiful. So if you want um, a bolder look, you can definitely go in with less water. Um, and kind of create that fun look, but this is just how to create that really cool hand-done look. So then I'll go in with this last center here. We'll go into Slippery When Wet. This is a nice bright yellow. Just gonna add that right in the center there. Wow. And there's another centerpiece to that too, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. I love how that looks with the watercolor like that. And then all you need to do is again, just go in with some simple leaves. We'll go into Later Gator. This is a super, this is my darker um, green in the line. It has such fun names. I had so much fun naming all of these mm -hmm. colors. And there you go, you can keep adding leaves. Really create that awesome look on your card. And again, this watercolor makes it super easy to do because then it can look kind of messy make it look like you meant to do that. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, here are all the different florals you can create with my floral builder. So you can even go through with texture paste and things like that. And it's really important to know that you want to play with different mediums and my inks and things like that really work nicely with blending and creating that look. So that was a quick look at my floral builder stencil. I cannot wait for you guys to get it. It's shipping in February and I cannot wait to see what you create with my new line. Bye. Bye.